Lisa, you um, have created a spot that we're going to see this okay. Sunday. We're, we have a we have a clip of it here. We're going to show uh, right now. Let's take a look. I'd like to order a pizza for delivery. Ma'am, you've reached 911. This is an emergency yeah. line. Uh, large with half pepperoni, half mushroom. Um, you know you've called 911. This is an emergency line. Do you line. know how long it'll be? Okay, ma'am. Is everything okay over there? Do you have an emergency or not? Yes. And you're unable to talk because... Right, right. It's an incredibly moving spot. Uh, really, it's hard not to watch that and, and not get chills, uh, Lisa. So congratulations Thank to you. that. Um, this, what goes into making mm -hmm. a Super Bowl ad? I mean, how, how long was this in the works? When did you begin this process for, well, for we, this particular ad? We've been working on it for, for a few months now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, for me, one of the, the amazing things about, about that spot is, when, you know, when you think about the Super Bowl, you think of beer, you think of babes, you think of ponies. And that's kind of what we're used to seeing. And I think what was important for us with this spot was to create something that was really the opposite of that, something that was quiet and something that was chilling because really for us that's you think this is about domestic violence and this is for a group called no more and that's what domestic violence is it isn't out there it is quiet and it is something that you don't see out on the streets it's what's happening oh, basically every 24 seconds someone is a victim of domestic violence and for us it was sort of looking at the Super Bowl as an opportunity not to sell something but to actually say something and to say something to an audience that large is really important so for us the craft still matters a lot. You can't just go into the Super Bowl and just throw a spot out there. It still has to be beautiful. It still has to be moving. Obviously, the NFL has had an issue with domestic violence. It's been under the strobe light for it. And do you think that this is going to help it repair its image uh, in this situation? I think it'll probably get them a lot of good short-term press. And I, I say that not to be too mm -hmm. cynical, mm -hmm. you know, but it, it can't be overstated what a bad year the NFL has had in terms of not just player conduct, but now at the very end when all of that was maybe behind it for a little while, you have this deflate gate issue. Where is there a team cheating? I'm a Pats fan, so I don't like to talk about it too much. <laughs> but with everything that's going on, you know, an ad is probably smart, it's important, and the ad could be great quality, but there are a lot of people who still are going to be really critical at the end of the day, and they're going to walk away mm -hmm. and say, hey, NFL, can you do something other than an ad? I'd like to mm -hmm. see Roger Goodell step up. I'd like to see a new committee. I'd like to see different rules. You know, I'd like to see maybe more awareness of the head injuries crisis, yeah. you know, which is also important. Yeah.